Hello, it's Sparks here, and welcome back to Spooktober, where we're playing Scooby Doo Night of 100 Frights on the GameCube. Alright, so let's get back in. Last time we were just, you know, playing the game. Uh, I actually don't remember what happened last time. It's only been like a day. But I'm so happy to get back into this. Also, I'm gonna turn, I already turned down this stuff next volume. I don't want anyone to suffer from all the crashing and banging. Hello. Okay, we can't even do anything with that yet. Like, seriously. I get that you're going to crush me, but you don't need to be so loud. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. See, we're making some great progress right here. This witch does not deserve to exist. Perfect. And we got all the Scooby Snacks. Let's get out of here. Before my eyes die. Alright, Coast for some Ghosts Part 3. Oh, it looks like we gotta do some platforming. Not a problem for Scooby Doo and friends. Boom. Watch out. Excellent. Perfect. I feel like we're never gonna get enough Scoopy Snacks. Look at how many there are. The next snack gate's probably a thousand. Even though it doesn't make any sense because it's been increasing by 50 every single time. Last time was 350, so it should be 400. Unless my memory likes to deceive me. And it has. It has before. No, it was 500 snacks. We did 450 last time. That's right. Going down which way? Part 1. There's a nice save point. It looks like there's another warp gate right here. We don't have the fan power up, so we can't even go over there. Lovely. This music is just so great. You need to get out of here. Thank you very much. Yeah, my actually need to. Oh, Scooby, grab those Scooby snacks. That's actually quite a tricky jump. All things considered. Thank you for going out of my way. Okay, let's continue on. Where to next? Boom. Thank you very much. See, now the platform is actually getting tricky. Oh, looks like we can get to the next area. Lighthouse Fright House Part 1. It looks like we need to hit this switch. Okay. So the light is starting to rise. Interesting. Wait, maybe we have to race it. I think I remember racing this as a kid. Although who knows how far I've gone. I remember getting put in farm, but never beating the game. Although my memory is very foggy when it comes to this game. And then what? Oh yeah, I remember now. And then we get the Super Smash. Now you can press the B button after jumping to smash down on buttons and monsters. Perfect. Which means we can super smash this right here. Lighthouse Fright House Part 2. Can I please have this? Nope, apparently not. Charge! Wow, this game is so much fun. Get out of here. I don't even know what you are. That's a bad sign, you know. 
Wait, that's gonna fall. Scooby, no. That's not even moving, so not gonna bother for that. Give me that, I need health. I should have ran quicker. It looks like doing the helmet attack is quicker for running. There we go. No need to actually destroy the enemies. Oh, that was a close one. There we go. Using the enemy's heads to my advantage. Perfect. Oh no. I'm really nervous that this is gonna fall right now. Uh, those Scooby Snacks can live. There we go. Okay, it looks like there's a switch right here. It activates a fan. A fan I cannot even use. Thank you very much, game. There is a warp gate. At least I know that if we need more Scooby Snacks, I know where to go. We should have enough, because the last one was 500. Let's see how much this one is. Yeah, 500 again. Our Scooby Snacks, they're all gone. Creepy Carlings in the Hallway, Part 1. Okay, great. We better find a way out of here. Boom. Boom. And boom. Perfect. Yay, finally a new area. It's so good that we finally reached a new area. Okay, just gonna avoid you. Thank you very much. We're making some great progress, I think. Watch, I'm gonna get lost on where to go next. I remember doing that a lot as a kid. Thank you very much. For the cauldron, I mean. There we go, perfect. We need four keys. Oops, did not mean to do that. Yeah, we're running severely low on Scooby Snacks. Okay, the gate should be open now. First, what's down here? Can I even make this jump? Barely. Looks like a headless specter. And... Scooby Snacks! And a sandwich. That works. Now I have to do this entire section again. So I don't mind because it wasn't that bad. And it was worth it for that box of Scoopy Snacks. Hopefully I'm not. Just watch out for the gargoyle and everything will be fine. As it's a zombie. Zombies are jokes. Okay, it's just a headless specter. Now, how am I supposed to get up there? There's no way I can reach that. Okay, let's just try to continue over here. Okay, this looks like we may be destructible. Oh, Shaggy! Thanks for freeing me, pal. Now help me get the key in the main corridor so we can get out of here. Okay. Hey, Shaggy, watch out. There's a zombie right here. The animation should have finished playing. Just saying. Perfect. And there's the key. There's an entrance to the professor's super secret laboratory at the end of this corridor. Looks like it's too hard to toss me up to come back when you find a way to get up there. 
You guys basically look at the game saying, don't go that way, go this way. Creepy Crawlies and Hollies, part three. Okay, we got an axe right here. Oh, oh no, better grab this sandwich if I am to survive. Oh, looks like just a ghost. And how about over here? Whoa, this looks like an area we can't even do yet. How would we even go about this? Well, probably using the gum right here, but I don't have that power up. Great job, Scooby. You just found the flip press. There's plunder invention. Now you have suction cups to walk up steep slopes without slipping. Oh good, because I know one area we can go to that actually requires these. If we just go to... Okay, let's just go through this secret passage, even though we're really not going through it. Let's go to here. It's in the hedge maze. Right here. I think this is the area we need to go to. No wait, this is Children's Pill on the Haunted Hill. We need to go to... We need to go to... I think it'd be easier just to go to the beginning of the hedge maze. Although there might be some secrets we can get inside of the the warehouse, the this area, because we definitely need more Scooby snacks. That's for sure. There we go. See, I remember there was a bunch of boxes we could destroy, but we didn't have the helmet power up. But now that we do. We might actually be able to progress through here. Watch out for the zombies. Okay, this is definitely an area that I could go to. It's just a witch, Scooby. Oh, wow. This looks tricky. Okay, I need to really focus here. All right, we made it to at least this spot. All right, never mind. That was pretty easy. I was freaking out for nothing. All snacks collected, and it's a mean greenhouse. Perfect. I mean, greenhouse, Scooby. Okay, we should easily be able to reach the end. I didn't think we even had... What did we have when we were here? I think it was just the double jump we had. But now we have the double jump. And we have the experience of doing these platforms again. So we should be able to do this. What I'm trying to say is we have the experience of doing these platforms. So doing them again should be easier. Because I already know what jumps to expect. So let's go to the beginning of the hedge maze. By going to the mystery machine. Because if I remember correctly, there was an area that we could go to No, not you. It was in the hedge maze. There was a bunch of Scooby Snacks that we missed. On edge. In the hedge. So if I just go all the way over here. 
And then over here again. And then where to next? Okay, there's a werewolf token. Oh, I might be able to smash that gate open. How do I think about it with this? Yes, I can. Perfect. It's not over here. I think it's in the next area that we need to go to. Boom. Okay, perfect. This is the area I was thinking about. See, it's obvious that this is slippery. Oh, and look at that, the plunger is working. We're missing a power up, aren't we? Well, we need to find a warp gate now. The nearest warp gate is all the way at the end of this area. Maybe there's another area we can actually access. That's a possibility. Oh wait, isn't there an area that slips down over here? Yes there is, and there's Scoopy Snacks. And we can actually go over here. Okay, perfect. Okay, well I was hoping we could make that jump. Otherwise, we'd have been very concerned. There we go. Werewolf gone. Okay, was that even worth it for all that tiny little bit of Scooby Snacks? I don't think so. And now we have to do On Edge in the Hedge Part 3 now. Now, you do remember that switch. I'm not the only one who's not remembering it, right? Oh, we can go over here now. So we can also get this monster token. Perfect. Looks like it's a witch. Oh, no. Watch out. I saw it moving. I was like, yep. I'm immediately going to avoid it. Don't forget to jump. I mean, that's actually a given. I am definitely going to jump. Perfect. On edge, in the hedge. Now we gotta do this entire section again. I'll meet you when I'm done with it. Alrighty, we are back. And not a moment too soon because this is the area I remember. Literally right here. Scare stiff at school cliff. Ooh, this is exciting, a whole new area. And we should better save. I'll save at the end of the video. You never know what will happen with these kind of videos. There we go. Thank you very much, game. Okay, I need to collect all these spooky snacks. I missed one. I'm going back for it. Okay, perfect. And there we go. Yes. No cavemen's allowed. I decided. No cavemen allowed. Alright. This is an interesting area. I almost thought I fell to my doom, but apparently not. What I did miss is all these scuba snacks I need to go for. There we go. Nothing bad has happened then. Boom. Okay, looks like it's activated that pulley over there, so now we need to backtrack. I've noticed there's a lot of backtracking in this game. Which I don't mind. Keeps the experience fresh. And I'm assuming it saves time. 
do so where did that platform spawn down here thank you perfect oops I didn't wait for the platform did I okay I almost just jumped into the abyss again Now I have to do the entire section again. Lovely. Anyways, I'm going to do that section, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.